Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So the wait is over and Vivaldi version 7.4 has just rolled out, which is now the latest stable release. Now, to double check, we have the update on Windows. We head to our main menu, help check for updates. And this process will automatically update the browser if it hasn't done so already. And then if we just head into our about page, just to get those different build upgrades. So the browser is now sitting on version 7.4.3684.38 and the Chromium platform has been bumped up from version 134. They jumped a version right into 136. So that puts it on par now with the other Chromium based web browsers. Now once again there are a couple of new adjustments and front facing new features. And the first is that Vivaldi says that you have now more control over keyboard shortcuts. Where with version 7.2, Vivaldi says it gave you the option to set a priority list for you to select what Vivaldi specific shortcuts you want to, to give priority. And now with version 7.4, it has taken this one step further where you can now fine tune your keyboard shortcuts on a per site basis. So to check this feature out, we head to our settings privacy and security and we scroll down to almost the bottom of the page and here you'll see prioritize web shortcuts okay that's the feature they are talking about so how this works and um, Vivaldi says that even if you had customized commands in Vivaldi you can allow a site like Google Docs to override them and yeah you can add the specific sites you want to have prioritized keyboard shortcuts so that's giving you more control over keyboard shortcuts with version 7.4. Now the next couple of improvements are regarding the address bar. Where Vivaldi says it has continued tuning the address bar, making it smarter, faster and more consistent. And they also mentioned that settings have been restructured and a collection of bug fixes and optimizations have also been applied to the address bar. And if we head into the settings once again, and this time we head to address bar. Yavi Valdi says you can now decide what items are displayed in the drop down menu. So select which items to display in the drop down menu. Just that section. And they also mention that you can now increase the number of items shown in the address bar drop down to show as many as 42 results. So quite a bit of work going into the, the address bar in version 7.4. Now there's also a couple of other little tweaks and adjustments that have rolled out with this latest version. And because I only have one profile in Vivaldi, I'm just going to use an image from the announcement. And Vivaldi says starting the browser now is now faster and less cluttered thanks to the simplified profile picker, currently what we are looking at. And apparently the Windows panel And the history panel have been brushed up, Vivaldi says, to feel lighter, cleaner, and more intuitive. And they also mention that a couple of improvements have been made to stability and performance in the browser. So that's the main new features rolling out with version 7.4. But there's still a lot going on under the hood. The change log from 7.3 to this latest release is massive with lots of fixes, add-ons. There are also a couple of crash fixes I did see in the change log, which is always important. And the Chromium platform, they say, has been bumped up to 136.0.7103.138 to be specific. So that puts it in line now with the other Chromium-based web browsers. And compared to other Chromium-based web browsers, as you may well know, Vivaldi has give or take an eight-week release cycle compared to the three to four-week release cycle that, as an example, Google Chrome and Microsoft Edge have. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.